It's racing headwear of a different kind that's under the spotlight as this year's spring carnival heads into its biggest week. Jockeys could be wearing the safest helmets in the world by next year as Australian researchers try to develop some revolutionary new headgear. Rebecca Barrett reports. Two fatal falls in two days five years ago prompted a review of safety equipment that led to a research project for a more protective helmet. In any um, job, the workplace has got to be the safest it can be and no different for racing. That's a big call when it comes to one of sport's most hazardous jobs. Champion jockey Damien Oliver knows better than most. He lost his father and brother to track accidents. Melbourne Cups don't mean a thing to me anymore. I give it back right now to have my brother back. One in every 600 falls is fatal, while a jockey can expect to miss around five weeks riding every year due to injury. But forking out for a $1,000 helmet instead of a $200 one isn't likely to help. Price doesn't necessarily mean any, any difference in performance. Professor McIntosh and his team are trying to improve what's on offer and meet a never-before-reached European standard along the way. This standard in Europe is a, reflects a much higher severity and more broad uh, range of um, impact performance and protection for the jockey. So we're trying to, to meet that and we're getting very close to it. Look forward to any improvement we can get. Our safety is paramount. Researchers don't want to change the overall look of the helmet, just the materials inside it, which will come at a cost. If we're bringing in uh, a new and improved helmet, but uh, at a far greater cost, um, you know, there should be some sort of industry subsidy for that. Some jockeys that can't afford it naturally will subsidise it. You know, we may subsidise it for the lot. The world's safest jockey helmet could be on sale in time for next year's spring racing carnival. Rebecca Barrett, ABC News.